in my last video i have given a basic introduction to promises in this video i'm going to implement a basic promise implementation from scratch so before writing our promise framework from scratch let's try to understand how ESCs promises work so we use the promise constructor to create a promise object in ES6 and we pass one callback function as an argument so that we can receive two handlers resolve and reject handler this resolve and reject handler is used to resolve the promise or reject it so in this example I'm just uh, resolving the promise right away with one text and when the promise is resolved I want to display the message so I will get the resolved message here and then I can console log it and then function also returns another promise and if I execute this code you'll see I'm getting new message and then another message similar to ES6 promise uh, we're going to create our own promise constructor called my promise so this is our constructor and uh, the constructor function should re should uh, accept one configuration function config function and this config function is going to receive two handlers resolve and reject handler so inside the constructor only we can just call the configuration function with our handlers first parameter is uh, resolve handler second parameter will be reject function but uh, for now we're not adding reject function later we can add it and the return value of the promise would be one object that has then uh, then function so here if you see this promise is returning one object that has a then function so we can simply return one object with a then function the then function should accept one callback i can call it success callback and then function should return another object that has another then right so here we can see from this uh, example that we have written that uh, this then function is returning another promise right so as we have already created our promise this is our my promise constructor we can create one more promise here and then return that a new promise in our case it is my promise so this is our capture phase what do I mean by that is when we are executing these lines new promise then we are adding another callback and then and then again we are adding another callback so uh, when we are executing all these we are capturing the chain of callbacks so when we are calling my promise we are returning an object that object has then this is how we are creating a chain of callbacks next comes the execution phase execution phase, phase starts when we resolve the promise so here if you see here in this line we are resolving our promise with a message this is where the execution starts and our resolve function is here this is the resolve resolve handler so in this resolve handler what we can do is we can just call our success callback right and success callback is received in in our then function so first of all we need to use this two uh, two functions success callback and resolve callback but unfortunately in this resolve handler we don't have access to those that's why we need one call uh, one closer in our case it is the constructor my promise in this closer we can have variables to access those callbacks so we can just add uh, in our case we need two variables let's say the name is next success callback and next resolve and next resolve we can just add it we are just capturing the next callback and next resolve so that we can call it so in our resolve resolve handler we can just check if the next success callback is available or not because it can happen that we are not adding anything in the then right so it may not be available but if it is available then we can just call the success callback with the message the message you can get here this message is the data to be passed in resolve uh, handler this is the new message this will come here 
as message variable and this message variable we can pass here in next success callback what else we need to do you can see here in the then callback we can return something from then callback and that return value will go to the next callback so we can do the similar thing here we can add variable results equal to new success callback next success callback and then this result we can pass to our next here in this in our case it is a resolve function so next resolve result also need to check if the result is available or not uh, next resolve is available or not so if next resolve is there then next resolve our result so until now what we have done we have our then we have our config function in resolve handler we are checking if the callback is there if it is there then we are calling it and it's going to next so let's run it and see if it works or not uh, i need to add my promise it's not working uh, the reason is as i told you we have two phases one is the capture phase and another is the execution phase so we should not immediately execute the promise execute the resolve handler right here this is the resolve handler and we should not execute it immediately we need to wait for our next take so in our case we can use set timeout inside set timeout we can pass it i'll explain why it is required so here you can see in the constructor only we are resolving it right so when we are executing this config function that time only we are resolving it but that at that point of time we don't have our success callback assigned because when we are returning the promise when you are returning the constructor then only we are adding the success callback that's why it is not available at that point of time that is the reason why we need it and if i execute it now you can see that yeah new message and another message this is displayed now one more condition i have not added here that is uh, in then callback here in then callback instead of returning an, one uh, value we can return another promise so what happens is if we return another promise then uh, we should wait for that promise also i'll give you an example here so let's say we are returning instead of returning another message we can returning a promise return new promise Now if I run this, it should not work. Yeah, it is not working. So what we need to do here is we can check if the result here in success callback when you are calling the success function and we are getting the result, we can check if the result is a value or a promise. So the best way to check if it is a promise or not, we can just check if the result is having a dead method or not. So if it is a promise, then what you can do is we can we can use the results then function to resolve our next promise so in our case we have next resolve so we can just pass uh, pass next resolve here and else we can now if we execute it we can see it is working now so this is our very basic promise implementation in around less than 20 lines of code I know a lot of uh, different use cases are not handled for example this reject is also not handled uh, but this is a starting point and if you try to implement it uh, and see this video uh, from starting again uh, you'll be able to have some insights about how promise works internally and you'll be able to add all the promise functionalities all the detailed functionalities very easily so if you have any questions or any suggestions please let me know in the comment section below i'd be very happy to answer your questions thank you so much